Stal, you've been with us all through the National League years this weekend. Okay. We're back in the EFL. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, can't wait. I mean, it's like everybody, you know, it seems like it was so far away, just one division away. But for four years, we well, we've not toiled, but the players have toiled, sweated, given everything, come so close on occasions and finally got it done on that showpiece occasion at Wembley just a couple of months ago. You say that you've not toiled, but I've seen you at, in <laughs> press boxes up and down the country throughout those National League days. Not the most glamorous of uh, surroundings at times. And even at Wembley, the nerves were still jangling at, at times, weren't they, last season? Cracky, mate. They, they put us through the mill. It's typical Notts County, isn't it? I mean, it, yeah, it might look like hard work, but what I do is not hard work. The players do, do all the hard work, but they did it brilliantly last season. It was an absolute pleasure on it to watch them last season. You've seen them every game like I did, and they were fantastic. But in just typical Notts County way, after an unbelievable season, the consistency was like never been seen in the National League. Then they get the two playoff games and, and really put us through the ringer. But it's just so typical of Notts County. It's the most Notts County way to get back in the Football League ever. But it feel, felt great at the time. The nerves were absolutely right on edge but they took it all the way got it done Kedwin Scott with a winning penalty and, and here we are back in the Football League How vivid are your memories of, of Wembley in particular because I personally can remember bits of it but it felt like a massive blur um, that moment where Keds hits the back of the net is that something that you can remember in full HD or is it oh, all I, I mean I, I remember it I think I watched it again about three or four times just to make sure it wasn't a dream when we were there we, we, we you know obviously it shredded the nerves I remember John Bostock's penalty before that although I think he'll yeah, like one or two have forgotten it, but you know, it was just a it was just a great outcome. They always say you don't want to go to Wembley and lose, and thankfully, you know, despite everything, not a great performance, particularly on the day. Certainly not the first ten minutes where you just thought this was going to be Harrogate all over again. That you know they got got the job done, and, and it was just fantastic celebrations. Fantastic to see the Knots fans celebrating all twenty five thousand plus of them, and thoroughly deserved, obviously, for the. The season that Luke and his team managed to muster up. Just, just summarise, you know, what you witnessed last year and, and how memorable that season will be for you. I mean, that fantastic. Forget the levels. We always talk about levels in sport, and yes, it was non-league, national league, but the football was just on a different level. You know, it was better than the standard. It was, you know, them and Wrexham. You, you, you know, the two names from last season will always be mentioned in tandem. They set standards that that would probably never be seen again at that level they pushed each other but the standard of the football was just exceptional 117 goals 107 points in a regular season and the football that they played and some of the performances were absolutely outstanding so you know there's real quality within the club there's real quality in the squad and depth in that squad obviously there's a few additions as well this season one or two absentees uh, but we hope they can take that on into the football league and under Luke Williams there's no reason why they can't go on from strength to strength. It's not going to be easy. It is going to be a step up in quality, but they're more than capable of making that step. I think we all enjoyed a little break from football after that Wembley win, but how much are you looking forward to Sutton on Saturday? How long have you been sort of thinking about that and wanting to get back into it? Yeah, well, I mean, it's great to be back. Just back in the Football League, the oldest Football League club in the, wor in the world regains its moniker again. Um, that's the biggest thing, isn't it? That to get back in the football league, be a football league club again, with no disrespect to the national league, meant it just felt that knots were not in the right place, you know. And for we know how difficult it is to get out. So four years it took, we're back in. So Sutton, yeah, looking forward to it massively. It's you know, it, it's a, a reminder of a team that we saw down in the national league, wasn't it? And and they've got up, stayed in division two, in league two, and shown what they can do. So. It's going to be a tough test, but really looking forward to not being back in the league. You've been observing from afar pre-season so far. You don't do friendlies. We know that <laughs> for many, many ex-pros, they're seen as uh, <laughs> something that you don't necessarily always need to keep a massive uh, eye on. But you'll have kept an eye on our recruitment. Obviously, yeah. as you mentioned, we've, we've lost a few players, including Ruben Rodriguez, and brought a few in as well. Generally, from your perception, uh, how do you think it's been in terms of the recruitment over the summer? Oh, I think the recruitment's been fine. I mean... Uh, Obviously, the headline name is, is David McGoldrick, you know, coming back to the club, doing, you know, just trying to c complete the circle of his career, if you like, and not so lad coming back. He was a young lad when I was there, you know, schoolboy age. So, you know, and I think it's fantastic. The story, you know, the way to do it, obviously, in these days with what's happening in football year, about the massive amounts of money that the players at the top end are earning, to see a player who wants to go back to his hometown, 
club and finish out his days at the club that he support. I think he's, he's absolutely great dropping down a level, not for money, but to complete that circle of his career. I think that's fantastic. And I think, I mean, the quality he's got, the levels he's played at, you know, quality showed even last season. You know, he's going to be a fantastic addition. And I was going to say nullifies the loss of Ruben Rodriguez, but I think you're replacing quality with quality and uh, hopefully he flourishes. How much are you looking forward to seeing these new additions um, come together on Saturday? Because it will be the first time you'll have seen them. And it's the same for a lot of fans who, who won't have seen any of the new players yet. Is that an exciting prospect for you? Oh, massively, yeah. I mean, you, you want to see what they've got. You want to see them tech on last season and build on it. And I'm sure Luke Williams, that'll be, that'll be what he's been driving into them all, all pre-season. Once we got him off the scooter, the e-scooter around Nottingham, I think it'll be about, right, focus now. We've got to go and do it again. Got to do it all again. Got to be better, stronger, fitter, and better quality. And and that's what the additions will be to do to try and improve the quality. But he'll be driving, and that's what I like about Luke Williams. He's driven, focused, and he'll push them standards all throughout the season. So I think if Notts can replicate the domination of the ball that they had in the National League, then you know the sky's the limit. But it is going to be harder. It's not going to be a cakewalk. We're certainly not expecting 107 points and 117 goals this season. If we do. I think we'll be in for more success. Mm. Lots of players retained from that fantastic team that, that got us back into the league last season. How much do you think the momentum that, that they've got and the knowledge of how Luke likes to work and how the club wants to do things, how much do you think that's going to help us transition into this new division? Yeah, I think that gives us a, a little bit of an advantage. I think the majority of the squad have no Luke Williams' ways. They know how he wants to play. Of course, that might be tweaked this season. It's not going to be exactly the same. Different personnel bring different skills and and have to fit in slightly differently into the team ethic. But he'll work them hard on the training ground. There's no stone left unturned with the analysis and the in-depth sort of reviewing of, of, of performances. So, you know, the quicker them new players can bed in, great. But when you've got a nucleus, a good quality nucleus like Knotts have got, then you can sort of hit the ground running. And let's not forget, we didn't exactly set the world alight in the first two or three games of last season and then went on to achieve what they achieved. So... You know, if you can get out the blocks quickly, get a bit of confidence and belief at this level, because we've got players again who are stepping up a level. But then if you get that confidence and belief, momentum is massive in sport, as we know. With a massive first home game back in the league against Grimsby just on the horizon, it would be easy to, I don't know, would it be easy to potentially water down the occasion of, of Sutton away on Saturday? But when you really think of it, it's a historic landmark moment for the club and you're going to be there in the in the press box just sum up what a what a moment that's going to be to see the black and white of Notts County out there playing in an EFL game again yeah it's just going to be great the atmosphere is going to be good season ticket sales have been great it's momentum on and off the pitch the club is on an upward curve for the first time in what feels like a long time you know over a decade since any sort of success but this feels like you know we've took one step and Luke Williams again I come back he's the driving force you mentioned, you know, we'll, we'll mention Jason Turner and the memory of him, but he was a main catalyst in getting this club turning itself around and getting on that upward trajectory. You know, if you get that momentum on and off the pitch, then there's no reason they can't go bang, bang and go up another step. It's going to be difficult. It's not going to be a given at all. But you just feel like good things can happen when momentum starts building. We've mentioned that you're going to be in the press box at the weekend, you're not going to have Charlie Slater mm -hmm. alongside you on Saturday or, or at any point this season. I think it's would be remiss of me not to ask you to, to pay tribute to him because I know you you were very close on and off the pitch, shall we say? Charlie who? Slater. Oh right, yeah, of course. Um, no, he's I mean he's great, Charlie. We we got on really well. Um, we've had a lot of kind comments over the years about you know, but he was the one that he was the professional, and he's you know he was the professional at what he did, and he filled some massive boots in Colin. You know, Colin Slater when he passed, but he filled it and made it his own. It sounded like Louis Walsh, but he made it his own, didn't he? And, and had his own way of doing things. Didn't feel in any sort of uh, shadow or, you know, intrepidation t stepping into it. And he just flourished with it. And like anything in any walk of life, when you do things well, he's been noticed and, and he's been earmarked to move on to bigger, better things, potentially. Not that I think there's anything better, bigger than doing knots on a Saturday, but, you know, good luck to him. He's, he's a fantastic professional broadcaster, presenter, commentator, and who knows what's in his future. I only hope good things for him. Not good things on the golf course when he's playing me, but apart from that, you know, I think he's got a big future in it, yeah. And from your own point of view, your own professional point of view, as a professional 
Analyst is a commentary analyst. <laughs> I'm not professional. <laughs> yeah, well, I think many people would disagree with that. And people would like to hear, you know, you're still fully committed to following the knots journey. Absolutely. I've said to everyone, I said, I, I do it because it's knots. That's it. I have no interest in going anywhere else. I, as long as they'll have me, I'll be doing it.